Gabe, I want to get your take. The economy feels strong. Does that mean we continue to be in the all clear when it comes to some of those lower rated high yield credits? Well, I certainly think the Fed has given us a lot of clues that they're here to support the economy. They're here to support financial markets. And I think that is certainly a good sign for high yield credits. I think the unique thing about the municipal market is that many of the risks are very project specific. These deals are building specific facilities or senior care facilities or, or maybe other project finance. So they have their own specific risks. Still late in, the, in an economic cycle, I think investors have to have their dancing shoes on. Uh, we're already starting to see some anomalies just driven by the huge tidal wave of cash that's come into high yield funds this year. You look at something like U.S. Steel. I think it's a name all of us know, but it's a, it's a B-rated credit. And if you look at it in the corporate high yield market and you take it after tax for even the top tax paying American, your yield is better in the high yield corporate market than it is for the municipal equivalent security for U.S. Steel. I think that's an anomaly that investors just need to be mindful of because it's a mispricing of risk going forward. Well, and I loved that trade that you talked about in the high yield market with U.S. Steel. You had a similar trade, but you were actually looking at the tax exempt market within investment grade. Is that providing the same anomalies? It's not. In, in investment grade, typically the individual investor in particular is much better off in the tax exempt security. If you're paying a higher tax bracket, you're going to get better tax adjusted income in that muni security rather than going into the corporate market for names that exist in both of those marketplaces. So it really is a phenomenon, I think, driven by the technicals within high yield. And the fact that all this money is flowing into these funds, and it's a peer group where, frankly, the, the size of that peer group is the same size as the overall index. Not many markets can say that. 